Equipo Nube de YouTube, hoy tenemos un vídeo especial para mí porque es el resumen del de primer torneo que jugué con Carmen Corp oficialmente y terminó en victoria. Somos campeones de Europa del torneo este de, de Precision. Bueno, realmente es torneo de... o sea, campeón de MA porque también había un, un equipo de Middle East. Así que disfrutad del resumen, esto sirve como parte 1 porque es muy muy largo. Uh, Spoiler, jugamos la final contra BDS, que lo vais a ver en el próximo vídeo. Y espero que os guste este tipo de contenido. No hay comentaristas en español, así que los comentaristas son en inglés o en francés. Y yo creo que es más común el, el inglés. Así que uh, espero que os guste. Dadle like, suscribiros y, y disfrutar del vídeo. Two teams that have a lofty expectations coming into the upcoming RLCS season. And as this ball trades hands early, Astral almost pinches. What? Unbelievable read Astral there. Astral on his way back, full tank of boost. And he could try to start things up, but Archie got a piece of that. Astral will be downfield. He may catch up to this on an open net. Kamin scores first. And that looks like that rotation was really Cassio's doing. He comes up from the midfield boost and goes for the challenge to cut off his teammate. But still, that open net is inexcusable early on. You have to tighten that up, and Cassio needs to wait for those comms to open up. It is kind of weird to say and see these players right? on, on the different teams, man. You know, this has been one of the bigger seasons for roster changes, and sometimes Astral can do just that with that much space no one up to contest one low post and Archie flies by Astral great touch stabilization and the dot to put it Itachi through. with a flip through the side and SMPR need to find something here you can feel like the momentum started off early for KC but since then it's been a defensive masterclass Archie sneaks it under all defenders a beautiful read and Shaw set playing it through the corner sets it all up they have had this look a few times very rarely have they actually got the shot off and this great time they defensive do. stand out of Shaw set and Semper oh Shaw set what a challenge for people who have been missing the old Shaw set I think you're going to get him on this roster he looks comfortable And that read from Casio is disgusting. There's no reason to try to save it. SMPR quickly two goals unanswered and Shaw set with a beautiful pass. Casio puts it through in a series that has not quite gone as expected in that we've had some very bizarre goals like Astral scoring immediately off the kickoff had a demolition in there as well. And it's coming in front again in all three games Archie. Out of the corner, a little too passive. Astral's all over it. And he stays with the play. One on one with Chaussette now. And he just about won that battle too. Got some help from Stake. Interference in the net. And Itachi scores. Stake is an enforcer. Yep. You want to talk about physical play? You want to talk about an undervalued element of a team? Stake opens up every single window for the chance of that goal, and he does it beautifully. With Fairy Peak making an incredible save, then turning that into offense on the other half of the field, but it does not work this time. Semper still only down by one, but they have been absolutely robbed, and then Astral drops this one from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? He's got glass cleaner, he's got point god, and he's got sharpshooter, all Hall of Fame. I mean, Astral <laughs> just goes down the field. Chaussette's doing so much. A great redirect from Stake as Astral puts it on target and sneaks it over. Astral, you disgusting man. Once more, set up perfectly and Itachi cleans it up, but everyone in chaos and Astral handles. These teams have the capability of sending Dignitas to a game five, potentially six or seven. It's going to come down who executes most. Stake leaving it to Itachi. He's so good from this angle, and he continues to be so good from this angle. Itachi hasn't missed a step from the end of season six. Stake still yet to score, but <laughs> season six, huh? <laughs> you know, the number one player in Europe. Could he be in that top three conversation? He certainly can. And with teammates like this, bar down, Stake making it 2-0, you have to feel that they give him the best chance to, to kind of open up his opportunities, but also his personality in terms of the way he plays is shining more than it Almost has. run so. into each other in their own corner. That's going to create another opportunity now for Kamin Corp. It is Astral throwing one across. There's Stake. It might have been deflected, but Stake still scores. I mean, I think the goal celebration is perfect. <laughs> Shot right? shooter. Like, Stake is just unbelievable falling away. They would send Semper down to the lower bracket to face Dignitas with their tournament on the line, and Itachi forces this through. Itachi is so good. He is so good. He is, his, his thumbs, his thumbs have reached the next evolution of human development. They just 
They're trying to take a little bit too much time and Carmine Corp are not affording them that time they need. Well, how difficult it must be to constantly play a man down when you're moving on the yep. offensive end, when you're rotating. Huh. And Stake puts an absolute dagger right through. It's 2-0 with two minutes. And Astro with a beautiful touch. And Stake, the execution on the goal line. A just a perfect performance from him. To make somebody other than Astro beat them. By God, they've Don't made somebody other than Astro beat them. Don't do it. Don't do it. He hasn't scored since I said that. Steak going to add yet another. And that's his fourth of the series to go with three from Itachi. It has been all the supporting cast in the later half of this series as Kamin Corp continues to roll on. Casio looking for Chassette. Boy, they're taking a lot of time, and time is their mortal enemy right now. Astral looking to set up one more for the road. It's off the crossbar. Follow up from Stake is sent away as well, but look at all the time that just went off the clock. Another 10 or 15 before Semper can finally get onto the attack, and even then, nothing actually at the net. We don't even need to talk a ball Whoa, game. What Are a you kidding? Stake, he's peaking stacks. He's reached his maximum. <laughs> Stake is unbelievable. What that is, is this incredible. Challenge? That is ridiculous. Stake is here. He's good. F. Dot, I'm looking in your eyes. Respect Stake. He's not medium well. He's perfect. He's a fillet. He's got fillets on deck. I'm, I'm going to talk to you in a minute. <laughs> Home. Got another win all the way across, but Kadoff is there just ahead of Astral. And now Team Vitality gets another look at the net. I think that was an aerial bump. That sent an attacker away on the counter. Oh. Itachi demos. Astral scores rather stake demos. Astral makes it 1-0. Stake woke up early today and he chose violence. KDOP removed from the field of play. You talk about vitality. Much too early to say here in game one. Still three minutes to play as KDOP is starting the offense right back up for them. Whether it's just Europe or the EMEA region expanding to, of course, the Middle East and Africa. France runs this region, but it's Itachi that scores here, sniping the near corner, perfectly placed 2-0. And it's beautiful to double down on the pain with to sink that bottom corner unnecessarily. You can see exactly what he was trying to do. Is his confidence just a little bit lacking against this K-Corp team that might certainly have to game one of just knocked the stuffing out of him oh. just a little bit because when you see that passing plays, why wouldn't it? Well, there are players that get flustered. Kadoff is not one of them, but this is brilliant defending. They the waited out. Rustling of the feathers here from Vitality. K-Corp with a couple double commits on defense when there wasn't actually a challenge coming in. Astro, he's coming in, and he's going to get the second. K-Corp have the lead. What a setup by Stake, too. He goes wide, waits and waits and waits. He draws in Fairy Peak, then just skies one up in the so RLCS X Championships. Have to imagine, though, with as much that is on the line there here. Is. They are game for this. Astral, tight angle, manages to convert through a lot of traffic, and it's 1 0 to KC. But it's stake again, the heat seeking missile. There for K -Corp. They were parked up for quite a while. I was wondering if they were going to get a ticket. You want to make sure you don't get cold feet as a player. You need that freedom. You need them mid boosters attached. He's going to break some axles. He's going to try and get oh, it oh. underneath, and he's going to do just that. And interference coming in from the weak side. And that was all he needed. Just walk it right home. Well, Astral. Had the defense, but they're going to need to find the offense again. It was not enough, the two. They're going to need at least three. Oh, Stake looking for the <gasps> double, and he converts. Stake with his first goal of the series, and a huge one at that. A miraculous plays at either end of the field. Alpha tries, but he in just Europe can't. and the world. And he showed why there. Just a great reflex to make that stop. And now, still scoreless in a game that Vitality oh. must win. And Astral rolls that home. That may be the one that puts KC into the upper finals. What has happened here? Grab the protractors as KDOT makes the touch, but he's going to get dunked. Astral with the challenge. Nothing to lose there. Aggressive into the corner. Makes sure to get under Vitality's scheme. Give them no time to get comfortable. And suddenly the time is on the clock for them here. Stake's got the ball off kickoff, and he's going to take a slow play. It's straight and sailing over the defense. Astral has just stolen the ball away and I've got to say he's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen my gosh you may have just stolen the series away as well Itachi now next man up nothing in the tank waiting for that midfield boost 
Fortunately for Vitality, it didn't spawn, but now Steak is there, and he oh. gets the shot over Alpha, and he gets the kind roll. I was going to say, unthinkable seconds ahead for Vitality. They may not be able to concede another, but Steak catching them out on defense once again, nipping it in. They don't know what to do. The wind gets knocked out of them, and with no time to react, KC, they've gotten two goals off just that. You know what's great about the Carmine Corp attack, too? They're not just blindly and recklessly throwing the ball downfield every time, but they do this time with an open net, and it's 4-0 thanks to Stake. Could it be a victory lap of a goal? Vitality sending it fully there as they have to. We also haven't had a five-game series, perhaps until now. What a performance out of Carmine Corp with just over a minute oh, left, wow. and the victory lap continues right through the Arc de Triomphe. Crazy stake just drives it through the heart of Vitality, catching out Fairy. Is this his hat trick? Is this his fourth this game? I've lost count. Of when you start compiling the stats on both sides, you know, you, you get out a piece of paper and you go, all right, so we got a few goals out of Alpha, a couple out of Fairy Peak, and then oh, you look over hey. on the Carmine Corp side and they just keep piling on six goals in the series out of Astral. This is just ridiculous pre-jumping. Itachi for stake, blocked by Extra. Now looking for Astral, and he will score the first for KC and their first lead of the series. <laughs> and now it begins, Stax. Yep. One minute, 20. BDS. Yes. In that back pocket, but we're talking like this series is over because it is far from that. This game... Well, this game has at least a little bit of drama to it now. You know, we were kind of poking KC with a stick, <laughs> like, hey, do, do something. Do it. Do it. Do the thing. Anything. Score the goal and well, do have. the thing. And it's a good thing. Yeah, Extra is, I think, a perfect case study in what, how you cannot draw conclusions about a player based solely on results. A stake will score here. A great sequence coming off the opening kickoff out of Carmine Corp. We'll get to Extra in a moment. We will, we will indeed because of the EMEA region. Popped up by Astral. He's got plenty in the tank, but he's got to navigate kind of creatively through, and he did so! Hit it, Hatchi, who hit the bar down and in. Okay, this kid, Atachi, off the back of Astral, too. Near enough, wonder kids from different times. You gotta remember, Astral coming Very on good three. team. You saw, or you, you may know that they <laughs> went and then won a, I believe it was a Saudi land after they dropped out of this tournament. Astro will score here to finish that point. We know Guild is going to show that they're a very good team. We've seen that Carmine Corp is a very good team after what they did to Vitality. To finally get on the orange half of the field. They didn't stay there very long. Astro will try to bring it back in. Down in front, and Stake scores. They get that goal right back. I love the pressure up the midfield, and Astral will circle back into the play. That huge 50 continues, and Astral, the second extension to Stake. That's going to rip down the field in an instant. They like to take their time. It's he's kind of a slow, methodical pace downfield, but it works sometimes. Then they give the ball away like that. Itachi hits Astral, 1-0 K-Corp. And neither roster has flown down the field, but it is just taking these, like you said, methodical steps in a great movement out of the goal. K-Corp has now done as much against Dignitas as Team Vitality did. They have a lead now in game two, and it almost expanded. State couldn't get around to that ball. That was almost put right into his lap. This goes to the back wall. Itachi's got to have it and does with Scrub Killer bearing down on the K-Corp defense. That's a miss from apparently Jack, and it opens up a world of opportunities. Stake coming through, and he scores! Scrubs had some impeccable diving saves this weekend, but that will not be one of them, because he couldn't get there thanks to Stake and the awareness just to immediately go for the shot once you have possession. Game three, Dick. What happens if we go back and forth to game seven and it's constant two ones? We need, we need something for that. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Itachi will score here. So there's one for KC, and we know somebody's going to be owed at least one more. Give me second guess it. Is it <laughs> worth it? It's Here goes Stake. Didn't quite get around, apparently, Jack, as cleanly as he would have liked, but Astral can get this down in front. Itachi for the tie. He scores. Perfect from the elbow. K Corp leading off of apparently Jack's back pass that goes absolutely nowhere, and a wonderful redirection from Itachi. This close to the finals. That is a very big turnaround 
again, the team without a coach, and they've been panned, right? Mm. You know, you have to have a coach. They're, at, they're performing very admirably, but it's Astral that scores here. Quickly down the field, Itachi got it around Scrub Killer. Nobody else home. 3 2 K Corp. Knowing the limited space they have to operate is how do we change our offense to get more creative? Because so far, it's been apparently Jack running the ball right up field and then letting Jorius and Scrub Killer take advantage from it. It hasn't worked. And on the other side, Cave Corp have been very comfortable with these extra wins in these massive 50s that just set up stake and everyone else to execute on the goal line. How big it would be, but again, we've seen both these teams face adversity and they've handled it incredibly well, especially for newish rosters in a preseason event. But it's K Corp starting to pull away now. We saw signs of this out of Dig earlier in the series, mm. but now it's KC up 2 0. Now we're starting to see some defensive breakdown. Astral, three goals, three assists. Itachi, three goals, three assists. Stake, three goals. Stop. It's three assists. No, it's two. I'm so <laughs> tired of your nonsense, stacks. I can't believe they made me come all the way out here. How about this one from Stake? He'll score his fourth. The assist goes to Itachi, and it's 3-0. This is just beautifully read by Itachi. And again, the trust at midfield for Stake to understand he needs to make that read extra bit of gear they need to click into. And with Jorius getting an awkward touch once more, Stake, so much real estate in the air, leaving it to Itachi that stabilizes Astral on target. That is disgusting. Astral making it 4-0. If this turns into a shootout, as it has one-sided on the side of Carmine Corp. And now Scrub taking away from his teammate, but with a minute to go, you're down four goals. Now is no time for caution. Throw it to the wind, man. Itachi, breakaway, 5-0, Carmine Corp getting it completely out on the field and getting it done with under a minute. They're going to go up 3-2 in the series and be on series point. Hey, I've got good news for you. Now Stake has three assists. First goal and Dignitas credit where credit is due. The rotations are clean. Their challenges are clean and Stake is just as good. He's having a series of a lifetime and it's 2-1. Five now in the series for Stake. That gives him the series lead for Carmine Corp. A couple times they almost invited Carmine Corp into their defensive end and challenged them to score. And that's a dangerous challenge to lay down to a team that absolutely can't answer the bell. Jorius burning all of his boost to burn a few more seconds away. Apparently Jack did not get rid of this ball. Jorius can't catch up. Itachi ties. Oh my word. This play from Jack, I mean, you could tell he wanted one pinch and to send the ball out. This does not go to overtime, but we'll take it. Jory is looking to end it quickly. Got this through. Apparently, Jack, though, beaten by Stake. Astral waiting at midfield to win it. Oh, he was not a cross as the ball skipped free. Itachi, he got the double, and he'll score. Carmine Corp advance. What a play from Itachi. Astral, Stake. Down two nothing with less than two minutes to go. And they bring it all the way back. Sigh of relief in the base camp, some positivity, but a crushing defeat.